when you got shit to do, and then a smoothie can save the day. And this message has been brought to you by, put your smoothie in a beer glass, because there's no better use for a beer glass than a smoothie. So even if you don't have a garden, just throw your banana peels in a pile, throw your fruit scraps in a pile, easily done. So you want to carb up, don't you? You want to stay carbed up, but so do the possums, and the raccoons, and the other critters at night. So leave a little bit of banana in the banana skin. Critters will come tonight. They'll feast on them. And also, throw them outside. If you live on campus, throw them behind a bush or whoever. Throw it at night so the police don't see because sometimes they freak out. I don't know why. But just do it. Do shit. Be a part of the problem and the solution. You don't want to put more crap in plastic bags and throw them in landfills. and It's nuts. So throw your food scraps outside. Yeah. Hey, hey, Ruffles. Okay, drink it. So uh, this is a banana smoothie. This is, so, so far today, including this, we've had 15 bananas, uh, half a cup of sugar, um, about 600, 700 milliliters of water in here, and uh, five strawberries and about a cup of blueberries. So that's what I call delicious. Look at the dog! <laughs> so we've arrived at dinner. This is bowl number three so far. Figure about two cups cooked minimum of rice in these dishes here. Or in this bowl here. And steamed vegetables from a couple days ago. So it's just steamed carrots, steamed um, celery, steamed ramps. Which is which sort of tastes like a mix between onion, onions and garlic, and all you do is steam them, really add a good flavor. Some peppers, and that's about it. So this is super delicious, super guilt-free meal. Eat as much as you want, to live as much as you want. Life is too short to not take time for the sunset. Life is too short to not take time for yourself. Life is too short to not have the attitude for gratitude. Life is too short to not have a gratitude attitude. Life is too short to hold on to grudges. Life is too short to not care for yourself. Life is too short to not love. Life is too short to have petty arguments. Life is too short to have arguments at all. Life is too short to not love yourself fully. Life is too short to not live your dreams. So instead of telling yourself all the emotional bullshit that you tell yourself, all the excuses that you tell yourself to not do stuff, to not do this, to not do that. When I'm slackline, when I'm teaching people a slackline, people walk by and I'll say, yeah, why don't you try it? People that are looking at it. And they're interested. They're curious. Come on, I'll try it. I'll hold your hand. It'll be fine. Oh, well, I'm not. I don't have good balance. I, I don't. I, I'm too old. I... You're curious. You know you want to try it, but you tell yourself emotional bullshit. You tell yourself shit that's not real. You hold this false belief system. BS. It's belief systems. You hold this belief system that you're not good enough. Or you don't have enough balance. Or you're not good, good looking enough. Or you're not talented enough. Or you're not handsome enough. Or you're too ugly. Or you're not strong enough. Whatever the fuck you tell yourself that keeps you from having or fulfilling your goal. Whatever you tell yourself, get over that mentality. The moment you tell yourself that you are good enough in this moment, that whatever you have right now is good enough. That's the moment your life changes. That's the moment you become free from all this bullshit that you tell yourself. That's the moment that you can dive in to what you've been born for. To what you dream of. To have the passion to fulfill your goals. Life's just too short. And here's dish number four. Okay, 
So here we are in the Q&A. We are back in the kitchen, diving into the questions again. Here we are. Okay, enough chatting. Let's chat. Um, how does your family feel about you being vegan? Did they give you a hard time about it when you first started this lifestyle? They did more family members um, than others. My mom was vegetarian for a while, um, back in her 20s. Uh, so she, she totally understood it. She understood the reasons why I was doing it. She was just sort of surprised. My dad, similar thing. He just had a lot of questions. He wasn't really judging uh, or judgmental about it. He was just wondering if I was doing the right thing. Wondering if I was well read. Um, one of my two brothers didn't really care, but he sort of does his own thing. Um, my other brother fought me on it pretty, pretty harshly. He kind of didn't, um, he didn't like the idea. He thought I was being, you know, a uh, total jackass. And so that's another thing. But he, he's since sort of grown, grown on it. It's, it's grown on him. Uh... Oh, it's a good one. Um, I haven't gotten this one yet. Uh, are you straight edge? Um, can you please talk about your experience with drugs? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm straight edge. I, that means that you don't... I don't know why it's triple X. I never got that. I feel like it's a porn kind of thing. Anyway, yeah. Um, I've done videos on drug... My drug use. But quick history. I... I, I've been drunk a couple times. I hated it. Um, I've maybe drank in my life. I, I, I don't know. I have. I haven't drank that much alcohol. I've tried a lot of different types of alcohol. Um, when I when I first started school, I didn't drink that much. I, I've never been a partier, but a couple times I did. A couple times I did um, just to be to fit in. Um, and then when I, when I went vegetarian, when I went vegan, that completely went out the window, um, for a while. And then I tried it again just to try it because my friends were doing it and I felt sort of left out and I tried it and it sucked. Um, and then I stopped it for a while and then maybe six months ago, something like that, I tried wine again because I said wine's like fruit. And uh, I don't know what my rationale was. I was at this party, and uh, this girl I liked was going to be there. And she's probably watching this right now. And um, I thought, I don't know, I thought she drank. And I was nervous. And again, I sort of succumbed to peer pressure again. And uh, I had uh, too much for me. About a couple of glassfuls. I don't know how they measure it. Um, and uh, it, my face just immediately went red. Um, I mean, just after a sip, I was sort of feeling it. My face immediately went red. And um, I sort of made an ass of myself to this girl I have fancied. And, um, and we're still together now. So <laughs> I guess it worked. But in all seriousness, I don't condone drugs at all. Alcohol, alcohol... It's a carb. You wonder why people drink after a meal, why people drink excessively after dinner. It's a carbohydrate source. Why do people go to dessert? It's a carbohydrate source. You need to get the carbs in. So I don't condone alcohol as a carb source, but people say, oh yeah, wine's good, a glass of wine is good. Yeah, it's good because of the fruits in there, but the alcohol is toxic. It's absolutely toxic. And oh, but it doesn't have lasting effects. Bullshit. If you're into health, stay away from alcohol. I'm just sharing you with my full transparency. I'm sharing with you full transparency about my experiences so you can sort of not do what I did, if that makes any sense. Um, in terms of other stuff, um, I was interested in like psychedelics for a while, but I never did them. Um, I still find the, the um, trips that people have interesting. Um, I like reading about um, like DMT trips and acid trips and... I have friends that do these drugs, um, but I don't. I don't want to do them because I know how toxic they are. If they weren't toxic, why not? 
it's another experience, but it's not worth it. I'd rather, like, bottom line is that I feel so fucking high all the time. Ask anybody I'm, anybody I'm friends with, any of my friends, they know I'm a nutcase. Because I'm high all the time, because I have all these carb calories and I'm going crazy and I'm living my passion, I'm living a fun life. A life, I, <laughs> I mean, I'm doing, I'm living the dream. I'm absolutely living the dream. And people, people know me as bouncing off the walls all the time. Whether it's at rehearsal or class or wherever, at a picnic. Um, <laughs> so I'm high all the time. I don't need drugs. And so I'm high, but I don't have the crashes. I don't have the come downs, and I don't have the repercussions. The hangovers in the morning or the cotton mouth or whatever. Does that make sense? So I advocate a straight edge sort of living. That's a weird term, I think. But um, a drug-free, happiness, abundant life. Does that make sense? Um, oh, I've, I've done weed in the past. I don't do it anymore. Last time I smoked weed was probably... A year ago, year and a half ago. Um, also, though, I don't. I think that's toxic as well. Um, I don't recommend that. Um, so I'm sharing you with. I'm sharing this with you, so you don't think I'm like this fucking guru guy. I'm not a guru. I'm not a doctor. I'm not. I'm just sharing with you my journey. So maybe it helps you, or maybe you could say, "Oh, well, you know, I drank before too, and you know, I felt guilty." Don't feel guilty. Just do better tomorrow. Oh, I had chicken wings for lunch. Oh, but oh man, I'm such a bad person. So eat better for dinner. <laughs> Just do better next time. You know, it's it's don't beat yourself up. Life's too short. All right, so next question. Yay for honesty, keeping it real. That's what's up. Um yeah, that, that rice dish was oh delicious. The syrup and the whew. anyway. Uh, let's keep this on track. Let's not get too ranty here. Okay. My question is about percentage versus grams of fat. You emphasize that anything more than 10 calories, 10% 10 of the calories coming from fat is not what our bodies were designed for. But at some point, you could just stuff yourself with more carbs to reduce that percentage of fat while still eating way too much fat. Any recommendation on the grams of fat uh, intake per day I know it will differ for everyone, but I'm wondering if you have an opinion on where the line is between 10% rule, just cramming in 4,000, 5,000 calories while eating 40 to 50 grams of fat. Seems like a lot. So let's check out Chronometer for more information. So here we've got chronometer.com. Chart your nutrition for free. Here we go. So breakfast, lunch, dinner. I mean, breakfast and lunch was... a Banana smoothie, 50 bananas in total, half a cup of sugar, a few strawberries, a cup of frozen blueberries, and then we have dinner, eight cups of cooked rice, roughly eight cups, um, might be on the low side, should probably start measuring it, sort of eyeballed, I had four of those bowls, which was at least two cups each cooked, so that's what's up. So 3,800, almost 4,000 calories for the day. I could definitely eat more, but I'm out of rice, so that's okay. Um, I might find something, might not, doesn't matter. Anyway, moving on. So to answer the question, if you look at the fat here, so these numbers are okay. Um, they recommend me eat 2,300 calories. If I ate 2,300 calories, I would be starving. So I don't recommend following this number here um, for your weight and stuff. I, I, I say just eat as much as you want. Um, if you're hungrier, just eat it. Um, protein, the, um, I don't, I forget, I don't know if it was the World Health Organization, but um, anyway, they say that 52 grams for adult man, 52 or 54 grams of an, for an adult man, is more than enough protein for the day. So you can see I'm totally in this range. Um, carbs, as much carbs as you want, don't worry about that. Fat, you wanna keep it low. You wanna keep it low. So 10 grams to 20 grams fat per day 
don't worry about it. You don't want to go above that. You want to stay in that range. Foods like oatmeal and beans are a little bit higher in fat, but really not that much. And if you use them more as a condiment, if you use beans as more of a condiment, you really don't have to worry about it. So I hope that answers the fat question. So while we're here, might as well take a look. Vitamins are sexy. Minerals are sexy as protein. Where do you get your protein on a vegan diet? Tell me where. Fats, easily done, easily done, easily done. So like I was saying, keep adding your questions. Keep adding your questions. Um, if you have a question I haven't answered, just keep asking it, and I'll see it, and I'll answer it eventually. It will work. I have faith in that system, I think. Um, maybe it work. I never tried it. But anyway, thanks for watching. Put your comments, put your thoughts down below. I appreciate the support. Uh, I, can't, I can't thank you enough. Um, it's been a wild ride. Like I said, sitting in my bed, woofing in Hawaii, looking at my channel and saying, you know, I wish I can get 200 subscribers. I was at 50 subscribers back then. And I, I, I don't know. It, it's been a crazy journey. It's, it's been fun. And I can't wait to see what else is next. So may your bananas always be right. So you can carb up, so you can have the glycogen for tomorrow to do what you want to do. So I'm going to hit the bed early. Got my first running race tomorrow with my brother. It's going to be good. So I'll take you along for the ride. I'll see you soon. Bananas being right.